In this video, I will make some high voltage zinc based battery with this dual electrolyte and actually this kind of battery will not use any type of separator. So, in the past I make many high voltage batteries like high voltage zinc battery, uh, high voltage aluminium air battery and so on. So these type of batteries work with this dual electrolyte setup, which means that the cell have two electrolytes with different pH. So on the negative side is some alkaline based uh, electrolyte and on the positive side of the cell is some acid based electrolyte. And usually these kind of cells produce the voltage over 2 volts. But actually the problem is when you make this kind of cells is that you need to separate these two electrolytes that they will not mix together. And for this reason if you want to have some high performance cell then in this case you will need to use some ion exchange membrane. But the ion exchange membranes usually comes with some high price. And for this reason I decided that in this video I will show you how to make some really simple high voltage battery with this dual electrolyte without any separator. And now to make this kind of battery is actually not so complicated. Because the materials which I will need to make one will be for the positive current collector I will use some graphite plate. So this kind of graphite plate you can find really easily on eBay. And in case that I will make some high voltage zinc battery, then for the negative electrode I will use some zinc. But if I want to make some high voltage aluminium battery, then in this case I will use some aluminium for the negative electrode. And now the electrolytes. For the negative side of this cell I will need some alkaline based electrolyte which in my case I will use some potassium hydroxide. And on the positive side of the cell I will need some acid based electrolyte, which in my case I will use this sulfuric acid. But instead of using some sulfuric acid or hydrochloric acid, you can also use some milk acidic based electrolytes, like for example some zinc sulfate or some manganese sulfate, or the combination of these two electrolytes. So in this case, when you will use these slightly acidic based electrolytes, you will still get this pH difference and that cell will be able to get to around 2 volts. But if you want to have that cell which will reach to 2.4 to 2.6 volts, then in this case you will need to use a little bit more stronger acid. And now the last material which I will need to make this cell will be some material which will soak and also hold these two electrolytes. So I need some material which will soak the electrolyte and will also hold the electrolyte in place. And these materials can be actually whatever you want. So any foam will work, uh, some dirt, sand, uncured clay, some play dot, some high density fiber materials and if you want to complicate on this cell a little bit more then of course you can make some polymer based acid and alkaline based material for the electrodes. Like I make some high voltage zinc polymer gel battery in the past. In this case, I mean in this video I will not complicate uh, with this battery and for this reason my material to hold these two electrolytes will be some dirt. So this dirt I collect outside uh, and only what I did to this dirt I dry the dirt and that's it. So this dirt will be for the negative electrode and for the positive electrode I use some mix of dirt, manganese dioxide and activated carbon powder. So the activated carbon powder and the manganese dioxide are the active materials for this battery. And now I will prepare uh, these two materials. So 
So I will wet this dirt with uh, the alkaline electrolyte for the positive side. And that's it. So this is what I need. And now I will prepare the positive side, I mean the positive material. Okay, this will be good. And now I need to use something that uh, will hold these two materials in place. And for this reason, I print myself uh, this material holder. And now this area and this area I will fill with the materials. Okay, and now I will put these two electrodes together, like so. And actually the cell is ready. So now I need to check what voltage I will get. And I get the voltage of 2.3 volts. Really, really awesome. Let's also check the current. Seven hundred. It starts on seven hundred milliamps. Really nice. So the high voltage zinc uh, battery, which actually don't use any separator, and at the same time is also really easy to make. So guys, some really easy idea about how to make some high voltage uh, zinc battery, which don't use any separator. So, that's it for now and we see us in the next video. Bye!